generation of wish to live in more interesting times. Hold out your hand, mister. Let me show you something. Go on. Take this ring. It's lucky. You haven't seen anything yet, mister. Go on. Take the ring and watch your fortune change. luck, mister. But like I said, we can change that. Watch. Call it. Heads or tails. Heads it is. See? That's the kind of luck you get from one of my lucky rings. I've got more where that came from. Real cheap, too. Interested? You got it. One sec. That's what I got. You bought something. Most everybody says it looks like junk and moves on. Oh, you have. You definitely have. Anyway, see you again sometime. Take care. Safe travels. You realize your bag feels light. You were just robbed. path lies before me. That's curious. to buy some stuff? Me? No, promise. I'm just a kid trying to make a living. You know who you should talk to? Moll. She's my boss, I guess. Good at finding stuff. Her office is through the crack in the wall over there, if you can fit. You bet. Good luck, pal. I applaud your taste. to visit. My kids say you've been busy since you got here. Not sure why you're poking your nose in our business, though.
none of yours. This is our hideout. But hey, maybe you didn't know. Because of that, I'll give you a ten count to leave. Nine. Eight. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two. One! Kids! Scatter! Kids! Scatter! Little slow on the uptake, aren't you? We have nothing to talk about. I told you to leave. What happens next is your fault. There goes nothing. Again. Hmm. He stares right past you as if you're invisible or boring. He's still staring right past you. His eyes flicker to yours for an instant, then away, as if it hurts to look at you. Look so tough. Mole thought of a hobgoblin all by herself. You did this to yourself. Let my daughter go right now! She's a thief, Hell Spawn! And you will wait for Corga's judgment. Now get back! Ugh! 
Let me through, Radrashev, or I'll rip your damn throat out! <gasps> Give him a chance. You, get back! Keep back! Force my hand and I'll show you its claws. A moment, Giona. What? Oh. I understand. You! Apparently, Korga wants to see you. Go ahead. Ah, oh, I do wish I could understand you. You there! Ah, my good friend! You were at the gates just now, no? When the goblins came? You saw them up close? A few questions, if you please. There's no overstating my interest. Glory. Now then, how would you describe that particular batch of goblins? Size, nature, distinguishing qualities? You search your mind successfully recalling various details of goblin behavior. Goblins were of a rare, gem-colored hue and wielded magic blowguns. A myth-weaver. This man has no respect for truth. And the dragon they had marching in the rear, was it of the brass or silver variety? Witness declined to comment on nature of dragon. Last question, then you'll be quite free. Did the attackers rally to the absolute when they fell upon the gates? They did, didn't they? Oh, oh curious. Oh, curious indeed. I've interrogated one. A captive in this very camp. She reports they've abandoned their god, Maglamiet, in favor of someone called the Absolute. The scandal! Oh, I'd imagine him quite displeased. Since their change in allegiance, these goblins are informed by a kind of strategy anathema to their kind. I, for one, Intend to get to the bottom of it. I'm just preparing to head to their camp as we speak, in fact. If you'll excuse me, I ought not to dawdle. Never you mind. Who needs mercy when you've a quick tongue, hmm? And an invisibility potion stashed in your back pocket. Until we meet again. I'm sorry. I'm sorry! 
Have you lost your sense? Please. I'm sorry. This is madness, Korga. She's just a... A what, Wrath? A thief? A poison? A threat? I will imprison the devil. And I will cast out every stranger. Girl. You mean parasite. She eats our food, drinks our water, then steals our most holy idol in thanks. Wrath, lock her up. She remains here until the rite is complete. And keep still, devil. Tila is restless. Come, Koga. We took back the idol. Surely... Do it. Sin is gone. I am first druid now. I will take control and prove my authority. The words of the Tree Father, spoken plain. It is as you say. Sivisif, Tila, to me. <laughs> Out, thief. My grace has its limits. <clears throat> it hurts. Thank you, Korga. Master Halsin. Halsin isn't here. Keep his name off your tongue, lest Tila pierce it. Ridiculous. We just let her run off. She's a child. A devil child. One who tried Go to on. steal her. Go on. Say it. You think I'm a monster? Yes, you would say so. I know your kind. You see only villains and victims. A viper bears her fangs, defending her brood. I call her mother. You call her monster. No matter. I took back the idol of Sylvanus, and the rite is resumed. We will seal the grove, free from harm, free of intruders. And mine perish if he stays. You showed great metal at the gate. The metal of a skilled sword for hire. I want you to provide your services to Sevlor. Offer to guide the Outlanders out of the grove. I'm sure they'll reward you well. They're to be gone before final prayer. If they are not, the Viper must strike. You will do more than speak. This tale ends but one way. With the Outlander rot cleansed, and the grove forever shrouded. Like dark justices. The towers seized the battle done. The moonrise broke the darkest one.
you recognize the mark of the dark goddess Shar on the broken helmet. This army marched in her name. So many dead. Sent to the Night Singer's embrace. Moonrise must be a reference to Shah's divine sister, Saluna. It is a number on you. I see you. Just give me a moment. This may be captured. There. It's up to her now. Life or death. Now, what was it you needed? You found her, but I still don't know what she can do for you. Why are you asking? A tadpole? A mind flare tadpole? I... Uh, I'll do what I can. Come, follow me. I might be able to help. I don't we need to be quick. This way. We have the right to defend our home. So that's what you want. This one had the same problem as you. Attacked us in the woods together with some goblins. Tadpole crawled out of his head soon after. I'll do the best I can. I'm no Master Halson, mind. He'd have your tadpole out like that. Still, we have options. You don't have to be here for this. I will remain. I have a vested interest in the outcome. All right. Let's see what we can do. Of course. Now, tell me what's been happening. Any symptoms? Strange events? Victims can identify each other. Not that the others know they're victims, of course. How do you pick up the parasite? Halson was desperate to find where all this was happening. A mind flare ship? But Master Halson was sure. Look, you've been straight with me, so I'll be straight with you. You're dangerous. If you transform here, we're all dead. But you seem like a good soul. You deserve a chance to save yourself. This is a vial of wyvern poison. Swear to me, you'll swallow it if you feel any symptoms. I hope it doesn't come to that, but thank you. Here. You know, I've spent my life treating folk and never once saw a mind flare infection. Then suddenly, there's dozens of you, maybe more. Master Halson and I were tracking them, studying them, trying to figure out what the hell was going on. Because you should all be changing. There should be a small army of mind flayers out there. But you're not. Weird powers aside, you seem perfectly normal.
Mind flayers reproduce by infecting someone with their parasite. Seven gruesome days later, the victim transforms and a new mind flayer is born. The thing in your skull, though, it's different to anything in our records. It's one of their worms for sure. But this one gives you powers, telepathic connections, and it doesn't turn you into one of them. Not yet, anyhow. Could be, but there's a lot we don't know. Infected, folks like you, have been converging on an old temple of Saluna, and I've no idea why. When Master Halson heard the adventurers were heading that way, he saw a chance to get answers, joined on the spot. Whatever he found there, he didn't make it back. I've sent birds to find him, but the place is rotten with goblins. And if my birds can't get close, what chance do I have? You, though, you're one of them. Technically speaking, I mean. They won't kill someone carrying their parasite. If you can find Halson and get him out of there, we can discover what he learned. And perhaps he can save your life. How's that sound? Thank you. It would mean everything to the groom. To me. I wish I could tell you more. But only those adventurers know what happened out there. All I can say for sure is they all went to the old temple of Saluna. And Master Halson didn't make it back. Good luck out there. And if things start to go bad, remember the vial. Remember your oath. Step at a time, Nettie. Come on. Why do you It'll take more than a nasty drink to finish Lazel's fresh beer. Better a quick draft than Ceramorphosis, nonetheless. Tiring business, isn't it? All this traveling and adventuring. Why don't we take a little break, hmm? Allow ourselves a few moments of rest? Gives me a chance to talk to you about something, well, rather important. We've been on the road together for a while now, haven't we? Hmm? Survived some perils, overcame some obstacles. Ever since you were kind enough to free me from that stone, I've seen you demonstrate remarkable guile and courage. The way we diffused the tension between Zevlor and Aradin. The way you got Korga to release the girl. In short, I've grown to trust you. The reason I make a point of saying this is that I've grown confident enough to tell you something I've yet to tell another living soul, except for my cat. You see, I have this condition. Very different from the parasite we share, but just as deadly. The specifics are rather personal, but suffice it to say that it is a malady I've learned to live with, though not without some effort. What it comes down to is this. Every so often, I need to get my hands on a powerful magical item and absorb the weave inside. Oh, staffs, tomes, cowls, the form doesn't matter, so long as it's brimming with weave. It's been days since I last consumed an artifact, since before we were abducted. It's only a matter of time before my craving returns. That is why I turn to you. I need you to help me find magic items to consume. It is vital. Dare I say it? Critical. We've already done the finding. In fact, you have one in your possession. You know for yourself how hard won such an item was, and it will be no easier when even more are required to assuage my hunger.
There'll be danger involved. Or great cost. Splendid. Bit of boldness will serve us well. I'm sure we won't have to look very far to find what I need. Faerun overflows with magic-infused treasure. As do our packs, as a matter of fact. We've such an item already in our possession. Primed for the moment the need arises. I hope I can count on you. I know that look. You're wondering why I was in pain before. Let's just clear the air about that now. It's just an old wound that hurts me from time to time. Nothing to be concerned about. It's nothing to do with the tadpoles, at least, in case your imagination is in danger of getting away from you. It's just something I have to live with. Quite a lot, if I'm being honest. But it always passes quickly, so I can manage. There's no story. None that you're entitled to hear, anyway. Just forget you ever saw it. What can I say? They were eye-catching. Consider me an art lover. We've been through quite a lot, with likely more to come. Care to narrow it down a little? I must admit, you've been a surprise. And not an unpleasant one. Kindred spirits are few and far between for me. Besides, you saved my life aboard the Nautiloid. How can I do anything but sing your praises? Must I? Thinking about it won't help. We know what to do, so let's do it. Find a way to rid ourselves of these things. Personally, I think finding this Halsin is our best bet. I'm not too hopeful that a gith crash will actually prove our salvation, but worth keeping in mind. I suppose we'd go our separate ways. Not a slight on your company, of course. Perhaps. Perhaps not. If we do survive, we'll have separate lives to return to. I need to get to Baldur's Gate. There's someone waiting for me there. Someone I have to reach. As soon as possible. Thank you. And you're right. It's a delicate matter. Not something for light conversation. Must we? No harm in a little mystery, don't you think? Thank you. I'm sure we'll get along perfectly well.
you ever scare me like that again, and I'll feed you to a knoll. Mom, I'm fine. Stop it. Our little hellion told us what happened. Thank you. Don't know what we'd do without her. Yeah. I mean, thank you for helping me. Our job to get us out of here safely, not yours. Tracks. Goblins? Glowing <laughs> eyes are rarely a good sign. Stayed interesting. Assume nothing. One true way. And he was screaming. No one stopped me yet. Did some bleeding art show up to save the druid? I'll cut you to pieces. Kill him!
Certainly. Time to waste. Time to push my luck again. Good here, I hope. A wizard's quite worthless with a tired mind. Sleep beckons. I would follow. A trap. This place is more dangerous than I thought. Your desire. Very Ready and willing. Can't give up now. Come on, open up. One with the weave. Oh, enough waiting. I crave blood. All's well that ends you know, not as bad as it could have. Moving in. Still breathing, despite everything. What 
am I to do? Uh -oh. I'll lend a hand. <laughs> Never a dull moment. Wonder if the gods are watching me. Hmm. No time to rest. Have to keep going. I want to have a word. His breaths are shallow, his wounds deep. He doesn't respond to your voice. Oh, thank you, thank you. I thought I was gonna die down here. They were asking questions about a weapon. I told them the only weapons here are the ones the foul bloods brought. I must tell the others what happened. I stepped careful. There are traps in these tunnels. And thank you again. Eager for battle. Give it a try. Let's get going.
can't afford to stay idle. Ah. Just a brief respite. No rest for the wicked, I see. Direct me. Indolence breeds madness. All right. What now? How much farther can I go? You're gonna be sorry, every last one of you! the heads off your kids and your birdies and your dogs gonna shoot me your hands are shaking put it down she can't fight back that's the point get out of the way she didn't kill your brother Arca you're better than this shoot before you lose your nerve tiefling if you ever had it to begin with Absolute sent me a protector. You're gonna kill him too. You move. Cannon would hate me for this, but he's not here. They took him from me. <sighs> You're right. I wish you weren't. I really do. 
Damn you. Damn it! Why do you care if a goblin lives or dies? Your soft heart will be the death of us. Gods, you're exhausting. Fine, then. It's all right, Arca. Let's go. Oh, you teeths are all boring. Even your cages are boring. Ain't sure why you're protecting me. <sighs> Don't care, neither. It's too late to make friends walk me. My tribe's coming. They're gonna burn this pretty place for the glory of the Absolute and hang you by your guts. Goddess, we're burning her name across the face of the world we are. The Absolute is gold from the sky she is. The blessing in the storm and the storm itself. My tribe can tell you everything there is to know. Absolute blessed one of our own. Priestess Gut. Got a whole lab set up. Cooks up potions that fix our lads, no matter how much of a beating they take. Could probably stick your head back on if someone was to chop it off. <laughs> Mighty Booyog. A goblin healer. We really are desperate, aren't we? Get me out of here, and I'll tell you where to find her. Deal? <laughs> Even if you did find my tribe, they'd set the wargs on you. You need me. Get me out of here, and I'll tell them what a good friend you are. yourself. Looking forward to seeing what your innards look like. I'm gonna bite the heads off your kids. And your birdies. And your dogs. That's everything. I think that's everything. Very well. Goblins, druids. This grove is a death trap. Grab what you can and get out. That's my advice. Believe it or not, but I witnessed a similar standoff back at the Yawning Portal. Of course, an establishment like that invites all sorts of outlandish entertainments. An inn in Waterdeep. Ooh, never a dull moment there. Adventurers come from all over Faerun to try their luck down the well. Leads into the Undermountain, you see. Full of death, danger, and vast amounts of treasure. Hard to resist. Suit yourself. I was merely going to remark that you handled yourself pretty well. to my queen.
traps, please. Maybe I need more pockets. How would you punish someone who wronged you? Wrong me how? Oh, say, murder or theft? Killing is good. It calls the weak. But theft would be paid for painfully, a thousand times over. Hmm, good to know. my back on you, if it's all the same. What's in here? Dead goblins. Dead travelers. Were they heading to the Druid's Grove? My faith will guide me. Time to rest. Mind if I do? No traps, please. Strange. It looks 
looks healthy, but it's stone dead. A dead boar. But it doesn't look like it's been touched by scavengers. seems to be fresh, only a few hours dead. You notice two small puncture wounds in its neck. Looking closer, you can see the skin around its face is desiccated. It's been completely drained of blood. Zathisk you mentioned intrigues me. Care to tell me a bit more? An intricate device crafted by Millar, our most gifted artisans. I am sworn to say no more. Time to press ahead. Tell me, Lazel, what is it like on the astral plane? And your home realm intrigues me. Githyanki lay their eggs on other planes. They cannot mature in the astral. I will only be welcome. Pain a mind flayer's head. Supposed to be a threat. Got a set on you, all right. Almost makes me like you. Almost. I'm gonna enjoy pulling off your skin when we're done. moving.
you, but could have had your ears to my collection once you're dead. Day, another fight. <laughs> Thank you. 
Make way. It's Krah. My injuries ah. need tending. Ah. Ah. Thank you. 